people on the left and even some on the right are going after Donald Trump for going after football players who disrespect the flag. I am going to tell you why Trump has got this one 100% right. Plus, is the Pope Catholic? Some conservatives actually don't think so. Father Michael O. Knowles, who you remember from his role in Going My Way, will be here to discuss it all. And do you remember when Berkeley was the home of the free speech movement? Well, neither do they. We'll talk about what went wrong, but first, NFL football, which used to be the most popular sport in America way back oh, about 20 minutes ago, is suddenly playing to half-filled stadiums and getting much lower ratings on TV. I wonder, could it be because some of us don't want to watch a group of muscle-bound multimillionaires exercise their right to disrespect a flag for which many of their fellow Americans died so that millionaires would have the right to disrespect a flag for which many of their fellow Americans died? Nah, that can't be it. Maybe people are just busy doing something more important on Sundays, like picking the dirt out from between their toes and then shaping it into tiny animal sculptures. And what about the recent Emmy Awards? Another gathering of wealthy people, only here they get together and give each other statuettes for playing Let's Pretend, then they stand at a podium and send a message to half of America that translates roughly to we hate you, you stink, get stuffed. Now, for some reason, a lot of people don't want to watch this show either. I know, it's a head-scratcher. It's almost as if a lot of people would rather not listen to the half-informed political maunderings of a group of thrice-divorced genetic jackpots, many of whom measure the depth of their wisdom by how many times they've been in rehab. And what about our academies? College attendance has dropped every year since 2010, and some colleges where raucous left-wing demonstrations have taken place have seen their attendance fall as much as 35%. Whoa, it's almost as if people don't want to spend their life savings and go into debt in order to have their children turned into raving lunatics who think they're oppressed because they have to go wee-wee in pee-pee in the wee-wee room, or vice versa. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm beginning to notice a pattern here. In sports, in showbiz, and in the academy, leftists have scored tremendous victories infiltrating once beloved institutions and transforming them into megaphones for their cramped and censorious ideologies. And in the aftermath of those victories, these once titanic institutions are shrinking and shrinking until soon the only person watching Stephen Colbert will be Colin Kaepernick. It's almost as if Americans have better things to do than to watch the most privileged people on earth indulging in champagne socialism and limousine radicalism while disrespecting the hard-working people who make their shabby little lives possible. Better things to do, like braiding their nose hairs or being free. Trigger warning, I'm Andrew Claven. This is The Andrew Claven Show.